Hey guys, Weedy Waffle here today, and we are back in the city of Westfield. Uh, you might notice that something is missing. We used to have a massive uh, industry area over here for our oil industry, but we actually, uh, in a live stream last week, moved that all the way over to here. So we're trying to spread the industry out in the city a bit. So we move that industry over here. This is now our new oil industry with a little bit of extra industry over here that is dedicated to uh, like the 4.0 industry. So highly educated workers. Uh, and then we have a cargo line that's connecting right over here to the port. And then the port also connects a cargo line down this way over here to this industrial complex. So what we're gonna do for right now is I wanna build um, an airport. We're gonna go with the Metropolitan Airport. Airport and a helicopter stop hub with integrated metro station allows people to conveniently switch between air uh, transportation methods for quick access to and from the city. So this guy is huge, but it like would just fit so perfectly. So I need to do a little bit of work in terms of clearing out the land, getting rid of these rocks. We kept these rocks over here at this National Historic Rock Park, but this right here is gonna be where our airport goes. It will sit here just outside of our city. And once this airport is built, we're actually gonna go ahead and bring in this Metro line that's abandoned uh, and begin thinking about filling in this stuff for uh, additional suburbs. So I'm gonna quickly uh, jump and have leveled out all this land. All right, so this area here is now completely leveled out. There wasn't too much to actually level, so it was pretty easy to do. Um, and I really just enjoy that we have this kind of natural barrier here. I'm gonna put some additional trees along the highway, uh, but I wanna make sure this area here is, is primed for an airport. So we've got it leveled. I removed all the trees. So we're gonna plop this right here. Oh man, look at this. It's just massive. <laughs> I love it. People are happy. People are dying. Come on city, you can do it. You can make it, I promise. All right, for now we're gonna turn it off. It costs 8,000 a week and I just can't afford that if it's uh, gonna sit there and make me no cash. Uh, I mean, I say that we have, what, $9,000. What I want to figure out is how we're gonna really be connecting things to this. I. I'm tempted to like rework this section here so that it's an additional highway interchange and sending kind of a T interjunction type interchange for the highway out, sending it up and bringing it to like about this middle area. Then from here, we can kind of figure out and finesse the rest of the road. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead, we're gonna jump into a time lapse. I'm gonna clear this little bit of a section out um, and just kind of figure out how we're gonna rework these roads so that we have a nice highway sweeping up and over. And then when we expand our suburbs later on, that'll kind of set us up for that, uh, that infrastructure and that traffic.
So now we're going to move over to the interchange for this section. So again, we have this highway now coming up and off. And I'm thinking if we look at the map, I mean, this does kind of become a mountain. So it does make it challenging to really send this highway, I think, too much further than where we're going. So this might be kind of where it dead ends or it could even maybe come even further and be some kind of like loop almost and come down and maybe even connect to there. But be before we get into any of that, I think we start by putting some kind of road at the front here. Let's turn off both prop anarchy and regular anarchy. And let's just do a straight, is this a one way? No, that's a two way road. I mean, we could just straight up go like this and put an avenue directly in front. The only downside is that ends up intersecting with this section. So if we do that, why don't we connect those up? Let's take this out 10 and take this out 10. I know that I want to put these downtown parking garages. They're pretty low height. Let's see. That's about right in the middle. So I'm kind of basing some of this off of what the Philadelphia airport looks like, the international airport there, because it has parking garages right next to the entrance so that people can park pretty easily. There we go, that looks good. So we'll have these massive parking garage structures right at the front. It just also makes this whole building feel more grand. Um, so now we'll bring Let's bring these roads right to the end. It's one off, it looks like on the one side, but that's okay. And then from here, we can curve it. So this is gonna come straight out. If I come to here and then we'll come straight back up. Okay, so we've got our parking garages. I then actually want to put um, like a visible parking lot in the back here, but I also wanna remember we have a yellow line that we worked on the last part for this train right here. We want to connect this. If we bring it down, we can keep it underground all the way through here. That will be totally fine. We don't really hit anything. And then we're in the clear. I kind of want a parking lot in between and then the train down this way. So let's put a parking lot in here first. We'll just go with kind of this medium size one. And the reason I want to put this in here is just that I can kind of see the, uh, the parking. We're not going to be able to see anything that's inside of these uh these two structures so this will at least give us the view that we want let's put this right here i think we then switch this to a one lane road now we're going to actually delete everything else and let's do just a quick little curve. The setup here, it looks good. And we could even, I don't usually connect these, but we could even connect these to the road on both sides so people can easily get in there. And we'll put all the actual uh, spaces and stuff in a second. Um, I'm thinking we might have an exit that comes off of here. Let's see, if it comes off of here, it could come straight on down and maybe connect right into here with an extra one that, ooh. Okay, it would come right off of here, it would curve, come straight into this road. Here, 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 this road is actually gonna be more useful than I thought it would be. Send this to here. And then let's send this almost next to. Yeah, let's do that. Then this can come straight along and down. And I know that this was saying negative 13, but I just want to make sure that all of these are the same height as the area we have leveled out. Great. Now I got to get you on and off the highway onto this road. Six hours later. I think this is what we're going to go with for now. So we've got our 
Uh, these are both of our exits from the highway into the airport. And so each of these exits lead, bypass all these other roads and go directly into, oh, little skip there, into this stop sign, stoplight, which leads you right to the airport. So if you're using that road, you're coming right here to the airport. Um, then this other road, this avenue, we will do some connections to it from the highway as well. And that will be more for the localized traffic. I think there will be a little bit of a um, residential area here, a little suburban area there, and definitely some suburbs all along this side here. Then to get back on the highway, I think this highway is gonna come here. And then for now it's gonna end. It's gonna go right here. Uh, you're just gonna run right into the road here and you're gonna use these lights to get in and off the highway. But this is good because when you're on the, on the airplane, on the airplane when you're at the airport and you get off the airplane you can jump in your car and drive right up this road and then immediately get yourself on the highway the reason i left all of this space is because i actually want to use this to do just like a little i'm thinking like a nice little uh industrial park more like um not industrial office nice little office park so i'm thinking you know we'll bring this down we'll leave a I want to leave a space for a path. So if we come up two past that, there we go. Come two past that, we're able to kind of get um, some nice little offices in here. Little diagonal road. It's going to be a little bit more gridded, but we're just trying to fill this little space. So I think it's okay if it's a bit more modular than some of the other things we'll do in this area. Do I want to have a road come down and into here potentially potentially i wouldn't mind having one that kind of comes off of this road so maybe we could send one this is all curved and this runs right into that which i did not want to deal with um let's go and do let's curve this i just said it was going to be more gridded and here i am curving it all right so we'll bring this down then I think this will come along to about here, where we'll then kind of curve it into this road. Now, is that gonna be enough clearance for cars to come through? I think so. Oop, nope, probably not from this angle. So let's actually just bring this particular one down. And then if we need to come back in and do some more adjusting in a bit, we can. But that looks nice. So we've got this area here. We'll bring this line. We'll bring this. This could be a really nice little park across from the airport where we put like some of the services right there. This will be a small little park next to this whole area. This is now all connected up. Uh, what I do need to do is just quickly connect up the train. So now our train line is hooked up. Let's just add in our two stops. We're gonna go from there. We're gonna come all the way back here. And I believe, yeah, it connects to this station here. And then it comes back. It mainly stays underground during throughout the whole city, kind of similar to a subway. But then when we get over to this area, right past our uh, wood production fawn park area, uh, it's gonna come back up. And this is where we're gonna put a fence immediately behind the train line and everything on this end of this train line like right here probably like cutting this direction all of this is just going to be unzoned i'm going to clear the trees out and it is just going to be flat land so that there's area around the airport it's a little bit more realistic i mean you can build technically like right up to this but i don't actually do that so let's go ahead and give this we're going to call this the uh, airport express line Express rail, how about that? Airport express rail, and I wanted this to be yellow, just like the way the yellow trains look. So now we've got our train line hooked up. All of this does need power. So let me go ahead and just water and power all of this really quick. For now, we are gonna have to use a power line. Um, 
I don't really want to use a power line. But luckily for us, we built this gherkin during that live stream. So we can kind of pull power over from this area. Oh, excuse me. I'm just going to go like this for now. It doesn't have to be pretty. It is just there to get things kind of moving. All right, so now we have this done. Let's go ahead and turn this on. And we're going to go ahead and just let it play on one time speed. I'm curious how, look, there we go, it's all set. I'm curious how this whole new intersection is going to work. I'm, I'm hoping it's able to move traffic. And I think, let's just like quadruple check. This is an exit. This is an exit. This is an entrance. <laughs> entrance. Uh, everything is, looks to be set up the correct way. Is anyone on this train? No one's on this train here now. There's no one obviously here just yet. So while this kind of gets itself moving and begins to uh, get started, let's go ahead and zone all of this with some office buildings. Maybe just a bit of industry here at the front. Um, actually first, let's give it a zone because I just don't want like the high rise, high rise buildings. Beautiful, beautiful. Linden Park. If you have any name suggestions, as always, leave them in the comments below. Let's change this to ban high rises. Uh, that way, none of the buildings will get too tall. They'll get pretty tall, but they won't get anything crazy. We'll put some businesses right here at the front. And then I think for the rest of this back area, I would like a lot of this to be office. So all of this here can be office. And then I think we might even put some additional businesses here just along the highway. Okay, so that's a good place to start there. Let's make sure this has services. So this is gonna need, for now, we really wanna focus on these things. So we're gonna wanna make sure this has fire and police. And that's gonna be our little service road here on the side, which I think looks great. We probably want some kind of clinic in this area just in case someone gets hurt. Um, and then we will put some crematoriums just in case we have a death. We'll even like, is it weird to like throw it in between there? Yeah, it's a little strange. Let's, let's put it back here on this service road as we had kind of planned to do. We'll put two back here. They're a little expensive, but honestly we need them. So it'll be just fine. Um, now for this all to connect up, let's actually give this a little park district. So we take it off of that road there are franklin grounds and this is just going to be i mean i'm not going to do anything too extravagant it's going to be a basic city park small entrance over here uh this is kind of where all of our people who work in this area can just kind of get around and when they need a break from either the office buildings or from working at the airport they can come right on over here and just get out of the building and people can even just come and use this just to get into the city. There's no one on it just yet, but there are people out front. So soon enough, people will be there. People are dropping themselves off. We have some people using the cars there. Do these get, we have some visitors. I need to put in, um, oh, here we go. I need to put in those stops. Seven people are on this train, which is great. We've got some businesses coming in, some offices. Do we have a plane yet? Oh, here we go. Hold on a plane right here a jet plane it's coming into the metropolitan airport it has 200 passengers on it beautiful and the cities in the background oh guys this looks so good whoa i was on this plane watch out for your wings don't touch each other and yeah, we've got multiple planes coming at once so this one's got let's see this one has 200 this has 200 this has 200 here this is going to be the real test can this area hold up to the insane amount of traffic it's about to face okay so we've got three planes they all just stopped i haven't connected any metro to here but i will in a second we're now gonna have tons of people just pouring out the question is do they go to the train or do they go, you're going to a plaza with picnic table. You flew all the way into my city to come to this particular plaza right here in the downtown. Oh, but it looks so good. I'm so happy with this. We got a lot of people driving, just hordes of people 
walking this direction. I think they're all coming to the train, which is fantastic. Last week, 107 passengers used this. Okay, great. What we will do, I'm going to go in and like turn off parking and stuff. Um, and hopefully once I connect up a subway to here as well, that will be helpful. We are getting more planes, 200 passengers, 115. That's taking no one, no one wanted to leave. You come to this, you come to Westfield and you never want to go home. All right. So I went in and did a little detailing. And by that, I mean, I did a lot of detailing <laughs> uh, throughout. So we're going to take a quick little tour. So like, this is the overhead view. This is our metropolitan airport. Uh, some of the props are going to disappear this far out, but if I get in here, you can kind of see it. We've got a little uh, storage area, I guess, of airplanes. It's not perfectly realistic. You probably wouldn't have anything this close to the runway, uh, but I did want to just try to use this back area a little bit, and I thought putting down some props would be the best way to go. And you have the farms right over there past the highway as well as the suburbs. And then from the Metropolitan Airport, you can just see the gorgeous city over here with Cardona City over this way. It looks so good. So let's zoom out a bit. This is the Metropolitan Airport. Uh, I have set up an entire network of walking paths and these ones you'll see like intersect the building. I like to pretend that maybe like all of these are exits. And so you can get through and just walk over top of um, the sidewalk below. And I've even turned off crossings, although they're like the actual crossing is on here. Uh, pedestrians can't cross there. So they have to use these crosswalks. So we've got our airport looks fantastic, has a great view of the city around it. We have both of our uh, parking garages with our network that I'm still working on this, but our network of, uh, pedestrian crossings. And I've sat here and put up these walls underneath to try to hide the support. So default looks like this, but with the actual edit, uh, excuse me, with the extra detail, it can look like this. So good, right? Oh yeah, you can see here, totally forgot to put one here, but on this side, beautiful. So this area here, it's actually getting tons more use than I thought it was going to. But we have our yellow line. We can actually let this, let this play as we sit here. We've got our yellow line right here. Uh, that's coming to and from the central station. And then over here is just kind of like a little bit of a business district. There are some high density uh, commercial here on the edge and closer to the highway. And then in the middle is some more low density, or excuse me, uh, offices that are capped at not reaching their highest level. So they can't get super tall, but they can get decent enough. Um, these planes, like, let's just see really quick. Bringing in 200 people, bringing in 200 people, taking away 139, bringing in 74. Like, they they are moving. Um, so I wanted to pretend this was kind of a service road that goes around the back. No one will ever use it. Uh, I will probably connect a few houses up to it once I build out a little suburb that I want to put here, as well as all in these surrounding areas. But I really think this is coming along really nicely. And surprisingly, one thing that I wasn't thinking about is that because this is bringing in literally hundreds of people, like every real life minute, you'll notice that the traffic on this highway all the way back, except for like kind of right here a little bit, but this traffic is pretty much gone. Like it used to come all the way back here and come all the way to this interchange and then even for a time back up on this interchange. Now we're at a place where the traffic is at 78%, which is like really decent. Um, 79%, we're almost at 80. So we are having some good issues. And so what's going to happen, I think in the next part, I'm going to have to address that a bit. I tried to kind of fix that by throwing down a bunch of extra ports. Um, all you can see that that has done is caused major backups for goods. And we won't even just turn off the light that's there as well as the lights that are in here. Like, come on guys, you know where you got to go and how you got to get there. So just, just do what you got to do. Uh, so I will uh, work on that. I think in the next part, I want to try to address the goods issue and make sure that we have enough goods uh, coming to the city. I think I want to do a cargo airport. I've never built one of those before. And I even think that might be beneficial like over in this area or put it over here uh, with maybe an additional port or closer to Cardona city. We're still dealing with that death wave. A lot of this I've played has been on pause just so that I can really get in here and do the detailing. But we have finished this interchange in this part, which I think just looks great. It's flowing really nice. People are loving it. 
I'm obsessed, as well as this new metropolitan area, which I think is just really going to start uh, helping our city continue to grow. All right, guys, uh, I think we're going to leave this here. We'll watch this from above while I do my little outro. But if you enjoyed this part, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments below about what we should do in terms of uh, our expansion and how we can solve some of these cargo issues. I think we just need to get some more infrastructure built in here. Uh, but I'd love to hear what you want to do in the comments below. And let me know some names of the upcoming districts. We're about to have to build, I'm going to guess, probably five to six different suburban districts. So I would love to have some good names for each of those. So if you've got some ideas, leave them in the comments. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, there goes a plane.